Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I've had a couple of uh, requests to go into further detail with my last tutorial. Um, if you haven't watched this tutorial, then I highly suggest going and watching it, otherwise uh, your the results of this video may differ uh, depending on how you did the first part of making your modified weapon. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Fallout 4 Creation Kit. Uh, when you're doing it, this, uh, whatever um, mod that you made using the first tutorial, or if you've just done it yourself, figured out how to do it yourself, that's great. Um, you need to load out the Fallout 4 ESM, that's compulsory, you can't load any data without it. Um, and then you need uh, um, whatever you named your first ESM, or whatever you did it in the first video, that's mine from the first video. Make sure that you set that as your active file, because that's the file that you are modifying. If you don't do that, you'll be making another um, uh, ESP and what will happen is you'll just end up with two mods and you'll have to um, uh, merge them together manually at the end and that's a pain in the ass. so make sure you set that as active file. Okay, so finally loaded in. Uh, first thing to do, just um, get rid of all this, you don't need it, you don't need these warnings, it's just basic game files. First thing to do, I'm obviously editing the um, hunting rifle again, so I'm just going to go type in your class name, whatever class name you are. If you're using the 10mm, it's just a 10mm. Um, and I've forgotten an F. Okay, okay, so now we've um, found hunting rifle AM. This is the file we want to edit. This is how you change the recoil. I did say the other day you didn't need to worry about it, but the other day I wasn't so worried about the recoil. So, Anyway, this is um, where you control the recoil, this is the corner file. I don't exactly know what that means. I know that that um, changes the spread of the bullet. This changes the accuracy, this changes the um, amount your gun moves, and the stability base. Leave that, you don't need to change it. There is not a gun that you will need to change with this. This is a base value. All this stuff here, you can change to whatever you want. You can multiply your hip, multiply if you wanted to have a gun that made you glitch out crazy when you uh, shot it, um, multiply the hip firing rate by uh, like 20% or something, so I can make this 20, it makes it ridiculous, but I don't want that, I'm just going to leave it at 1, I'm going to leave that at base. I'm turning this down all the way, I basically want this sniper rifle to be that OP that um, it handles like an SMG or something like that, so I'm going to change that to um, the maximum to 1.5 and the minimum to 1. Uh, the spring force I think the higher number or the less it um, goes backwards and forwards. So I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I'm going to set that up to 300. Uh, the arc, I'm going to move that up to about 200. And I'm going to rename, make sure you rename the file before you save it to auto. Creating your form, yep. So there you go, that's that's the um, hunting rifle full auto one. Um, as you can see, it's um, there, but what you need to do now is you need to modify your um, mod that you made the other day, your gun, to take in that new data that you've just set. And to do that, you need to go into game data, and you'll see your AM, AIM model. You need to select the hunting rifle full auto, or whatever you named it, you probably got a 10mm or something like that. Just find whatever you named your um, AM file as, and there it is. That's it. Save. Load out. Load for that four. This is uh, the recoil now. Uh, I'm not even moving my mouse. This is uh, I'm literally picking up my mouse right now and um, letting it recoil. That's how it is. That's uh, how OP it is now. Um, so. Basically, I've just turned a 50 caliber sniper into a submachine gun, and I can kill Carla very easily. Anyway, I hope you like this. Extremely quick tutorial, really basic, easy to do. A settler got in my power armor and is trying to kill a cow. But I uh, hope this guy, this video was helpful. Uh, the next video, pretty much going to release it straight after this one. I'm going to um, show you guys how to make mods as well as add them to vendors and make them craftable. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. See you later.